Hi, Caitlin. How are you today? I'm doing wonderful, Miss Debbie. How are you? I'm good. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm excited to be here. I, I'm interested for you to tell your story of why you came to the Mainly School. Well, um, I've always loved watching different characters on screen when I was a kid, but I was always too shy to actually do it myself. So my mom actually convinced me and she was telling me that I should just go out there even if it was scary. And it, it took me some time. It took me a couple of years to kind of get out of my shell and develop that on stage characteristics that I have now. Um, but little by little, I took some different classes, and at one point, I stumbled across the Mailey School, and I fell in love with it, and I haven't left ever since, clearly. And, um, I know that you're a graduate of our school, so right. tell us, first tell us the classes that you attended. You took many. Yes, um, so I've taken the teen acting class, the modeling class, and the image and confidence class. Those are the three kind of core classes that I took, and they all taught me something different. And um, my favorite was probably the image and confidence class, only because that made me break out of my shell when it came to speaking like publicly. And that was always a huge issue for me, especially in middle school. Because you don't seem shy at all. I don't. And people, <laughs> people don't believe me. They don't believe me that, that I say like I wouldn't talk and I would get zeros on all of these like assignments where I would have to talk in front of the class and give a presentation. They're like, there's no way. And I'm like, absolutely there was. So you feel that the image class helped you absolutely develop absolutely especially because different people always attend these classes they're always different backgrounds and stuff and every single time i always end up going into a class i can see and i can feel that people are kind of nervous they don't they're like they don't know what to expect and then you can see them literally grow and break out of their shell and that even like comes into play with the adult classes that i'm taking now and i'm like wow these people have changed in, like exaggeratedly within only like four weeks and I'm, I'm like shocked almost okay I know that you attend UCF right so tell me some of the things you've learned at the Mailey school is helping you in your day-to-day -day life and at school and you're working and all your things that you're doing yeah for sure so um when I was in some of the classes here, we always encouraged like to be the first one to like volunteer to kind of get out of your comfort zone. And I have noticed myself actually doing that in school or in classes. I'll be asking the presenters questions or like being more out of my shell. I'll sit in the front row, which nobody sits in the front row, which is very interesting. I'll go into a classroom <laughs> full of like 40 kids, the entire front row of at least 10 seats. No one's there because they're too scared to be up close and personal with this person that's presenting to them. Um, and then another thing is that like just interviewing in general um, for the College of Business, for certain classes, we do have to conduct interviews, but we also have to become the interviewees. Um, so that kind of goes both ways when it comes to interviewing someone, but also being the one being interviewed. Mm -hmm. So that's something that really carried with me through Maylee. Like, absolutely. I love that. Yeah. I love that our classes are working, and I love to see you using what you learned here yeah. in your professional life. And it's mind-blowing. It's just things. crazy. Now, I know that you took the modeling, mm -hmm. and you did a Macy's fashion show, right. mm -hmm. and you were, like, up on the runway. Mm -hmm. Talk about how your experience with that was so um before doing any sort of fashion show like that I was actually extremely nervous I was like oh my gosh these are people that are looking at me and all this stuff but then like once you get comfortable with like the other models and you get comfortable with yourself you kind of eliminate that factor that like oh people are looking at me they're judging me to people are looking at me but this is what I'm here for like it's not like in right. a bad way it's a positive thing because you're showing off the clothing for the brand that you want to represent um, so once you kind of get over that fact that it's not really you, you're kind of just like showing off the piece yes. in a confident way, then Correct. you, you have a different mindset and mm -hmm. you just go about it and you're just like, oh wait, like I can do this and people are going to enjoy it and I'm going to make sure that they do enjoy it. And I do love the thing that we, when we partner with Macy's and the right. Millennium, we do fashion shows at Bloomingdale's and things. And I know you did Macy's, but the, the mix of ages, mm -hmm. sizes mm -hmm. of the students. So it's not like they're just looking for a specific. Right. Look. It's very inclusive. So you feel comfortable. Absolutely. And I was um when I started doing the Macy's fashion shows, I was actually a little bit bigger back then and that was a huge insecurity of mine. But it got to the point where I felt completely comfortable mm -hmm. and I did not even think about the size of my body, the height I was, or any other instincts that the usual modeling community is like, you have to be this height, you have to be this amount of weight and all that stuff. You, you kind of like forget about that and you're just right. like, that's not 
necessary. And I hope that we here at Mainly School and me as a teacher of course, um, yeah. taught you that it wasn't about that size right. and height. It was about who you are. Exactly. And the confidence that you're bringing. Because every body can be relatable to different types and sizes. So that's so important. Oh my gosh, yes, of course it is. Especially nowadays because yeah. there's so much... And I know that you on. are, you did the acting class. Yes. And you're in the class back. You yeah, came back and yeah. you rode again. So you like us. Of so, course. Um, tell about your experience with the acting. With the acting class, the difference between the teens and the adults is actually really cool. Mm -hmm. um, because the teens, you kind of see them coming out of their shell, but you realize that it's not an age thing. It's just right. how we're taught. Okay, so I know that you've taken the image class, the modeling class, and the acting right. class. You took all three. Yes. So what um, were some of your favorite things or what did you really like feel like a connection that you really enjoyed? Um, one of my favorite aspects of like all the classes was the improv training because I'm a, I'm a very creative person and I like to th think like really quick on my feet and that's something really important for directors nowadays so they can take direction and do things a different way and be comfortable with trying other things and not just kind of shy away from like different ways they could be presenting their lines and stuff so improv is always really fun especially like after a while in the classes you really get to know the other students and you mm -hmm. kind of become friends it's like a small little family Bond. and it's yes and it's it's encouraging because we're all here for the same reasons we want to improve mm -hmm. we want to learn and no one's really judging anyone everyone one's no, just kind of in the same judgment free zone exactly that's one of my absolute favorite things about the Amelia school and we it's just always so good. want you know I know I say this in all the classes when I talk and teach and welcome everybody that we just want people to leave here happy and right. positive and absolutely you seem like you had a positive experience here absolutely <laughs> yes I keep coming back <laughs> now I know that you um also got into makeup and being uh -huh. a makeup artist yes. and um Tell me, tell me how that came about. Um, so when I was younger, I didn't really do too much makeup. It was um, when I graduated eighth grade that I started taking makeup classes. Um, and then little by little, I was just kind of getting more comfortable with like colors and like being creative with it. And um, it was in the image class, I think, that I started doing a lot of the like makeup stuff. And then I even took one on one coaching here with makeup. And that absolutely launched me in the makeup world. And I got so excited about different things things you could do and the thing is that some people misconceptualize makeup as mm -hmm. like trying to c hide behind a mask or like trying to like make you look like something you're not and no. that's absolutely not what makeup it's is like about. an accessory I it is it's so fun and like i feel like rings, yes. putting it on and making it fun it makes the outfit and it brings more confidence and it's just fun like in an artistry perspective because mm -hmm. you can play with all of these different elements and always get a different result but it always looking good that's so good. I know that you are getting booked to do makeup for yes. fashion shows and things. And so now fun. you're kind of giving back right. to the models. And mm -hmm. um, tell me about that. So it's actually really interesting because once you learn the, the basics of makeup and you go and you do on different people, like everyone has different complexion. They have different face shapes. So it's all about adapting those different things to them. And not only that, but like when it comes to like the Macy's fashion shows and stuff, you have to think about what they're wearing. Because if you don't, then that could completely throw off a look. Like makeup is so important in that element mm -hmm. and it's also really cool because when you are doing someone's makeup it's it's almost intimate because you get to talk to them and be like oh what have you done like what are you here for are you excited and you get to learn about all these different people and where they come from and their different backgrounds and it's so like mind-blowing to me it's actually really cool I don't know why I just love that so much yeah, I'd love to hear that. Now, I know that you're in the adult acting class now. Yes. You just started. Yes. And you have many more weeks to go. Mm -hmm. um, where, where does Caitlin go from here? From here, um, I just want to kind of challenge myself. Um, when it comes to different kinds of acting techniques um, because like when we're taught acting and stuff like sometimes we get too comfortable doing things the same way and I want to get out of my comfort zone and like try to like play characters that I typically wouldn't see myself portraying I want to challenge myself and so um, from here on out I really hope to take that um, in my professional life um, hopefully audition more yeah. and maybe get into like some sort of like TV show movie route um, and even like with my social media stuff, I do a lot of acting on TikTok and my social media yeah. stuff. And I was even thinking about starting like skits, 
um, and like writing awesome. my own scripts. I love that. Yeah, so well, that's Caitlin absolutely has a bright on. future ahead. And why don't you give your social media um, information yeah. to everybody so they can follow you? Of course. So it's um simply Evie. So it's just simply like the word, and then my name I V E E as one full word. And you can basically find me on any platform really i do a lot of different things but it's just my passion to continue with that and hopefully give a positive experience to those who actually come across my accounts well you're going to do well at anything you do you're going to succeed i love having you and i'm so happy that you came on to our (laughs) behind the scenes at maylee and you shared your story yeah i'm really i was really excited to be here and i'm grateful for the opportunity it was wonderful talking with you all right thank you thank you